Hey guys, Dion here, and welcome to the last show of 2013. So, finally we've come to an end on the chapter of 2013 in my life. And I'm actually, it's not, I'm ready to move on to 2014 and, and see what the next year has to bring. This video, I'm going to be talking about the best of 2013. So I'm going to start way back when in February on my old channel. Also, this is my new YouTube channel of 2013. It was just created this year. And it was created in uh, late August. And I started it with a collab with my friend. And then um, I had to make a new channel because my old channel was basically prohibited from moving to another partner, to moving up to a partnership due to undetermined reasons. So um, I just had to make a new channel. And so this is a new channel. But I mean, I'm glad to like, you know, have a new star and like start like, although with my old channel, you saw the growth of my, of my career and how my video quality got a lot better and all that other stuff. And now it's basically like all, everything is HD and I'm like, I don't know how to improve it. And so I'm going to start back in on my old channel and this year in February, I did a Desperate Housewives photo shoot. And as you see, as you can see, like on all of my social networks, you always see me holding like that apple, like, and then that basically, and then like with a knife behind my back and like a whole bunch of different things and you'll see different pictures. And basically that photo shoot meant so much to me because I love Desperate Housewives. It's just, you have a poster on this wall right over there. I think I want to make like a backdrop of like all my favorite shows posters eventually. That's just something to think about in the future. But this photo shoot was really so fun and I really wish I could recreate this again. But I do have another photo shoot in February coming up again. So I think maybe Desperate Housewives is fire including some of my other favorite shows like Pretty Little Liars and Revenge, all of that like mixed together. Okay, now moving forward into July when I was in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is really my heart and my soul. I'm moving there eventually, like soon. And basically it's my heart and my soul. And when I'm there, I'm just so happy. And I love like the air, I love the ocean, I love the city, I love everything about Los Angeles. And I can't really like explain my feelings because I it's so unexplainable. But when I was at Disneyland, Chloe, we're going to Disneyland. I saw World of Color for the first time ever. Like I always saw it on like Disney Channel when they were like, Where are the color? Come see it three hundred sixty five days a year, da 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 da. And I was like, I'm really like I was really interesting. So I saw it. And it was so, it was amazing. I loved it. And all the colors and the water jet shows and they, and they showed like all of my favorite, um, all of my favorite childhood movies and the water lights and all that stuff. And I was like, oh my God. Like I started crying and I video recorded a little bit, but I ended up deleting it because it was stupid. But I have so many good quality pictures. I just started acting. Well, no, I didn't start acting, but you know, I started a couple years ago, but now this is the first year I'm taking professional training uh before it was just theater classes at school but now this is outside uh the uh outside film and commercial uh industry acting and so it's a lot different than theater acting and i love it and i've gotten i it's really helping me set up my acting career something really is going to spark up within a couple of months from this and that's really going to help me start my career off like now like i really need like this to you know Chop, chop, chop. This year, I really would not be able to get through 2013 with my friends because so many drastic stuff has happened. And my dog is coming up here. Get the hell no, get down. Get the, baby, I love you, but I'm recording a video. I really would not be able to get through this year without them because they've helped me through. You know who you are if you're watching this video. I really would not be able to get through this year without them. And it, they, they're always there for me, like my best friends, they're there for me 24 seven, whenever I need them, text them for, for I am conversations. They know me and they really can help me like anytime I need them. It's so, it's so wonderful to have friends like these people that I know. And finally, the best of 2013 is you. You subs, subscribers, you're really helping me make my channel the way it is. And you're all, every single, like, I don't care if a vlog show gets like 
you know, X amount of views. But literally, once I see, if I see at least one view on every video, that's telling me that somebody is watching my stuff and they want to see the next video. So I'm always going to be more determined and more motivated to keep uploading. And it's because of you guys. And I really would wish for you to um, help me help spread the word about my channel and like share and favorite and like and everything and that would make my that would make my year i really just i last year it was this year it was so devastating to have to make another channel after my old channel was like growing and growing and growing and growing and now and now i had to start from something new but i'm never getting discouraged and i'm always going to keep going don't forget that i'm going to be back like i determined that i'm going to be at vidcon this year with a fan base so i'm going to get there I'm going to get there. As 2013 comes to a close, I would like to thank everyone for watching my videos. I love you all. Until next year, get it. Get your life more than twice. Stay awesome. Peace out. Okay. So let's start with Sharkeisha. If you don't know what Sharkeisha is, and Sharkeisha, unfortunately, is a person, with, and they basically beat the, the living crap out of this girl.